Hi everyone, Proxima Dust with a quick tutorial for installing my apartment reskin mods for Cyberpunk 2077. First things first, come to the Proxima's Apartment Emporium webpage on Nexus Mods. If you read the description, get a breakdown of the different options. Uh, please note, this is really important, I designed a lot of these using another mod called V's Apartment Renovation, which as far as I've seen no longer works with 2.0. So a lot of my apartment reskins for the starting apartment uh, are kind of haphazard the color is not very inconsistent and so i really recommend completing the first act and then finishing the quest playing for time and that will let you select makeover options using the in-game computer in these apartment uh, and i really recommend twilight coronado it's going to make everything much darker and more consistent as it was meant to be so from there you go to files choose which apartment you want to download uh, it doesn't really matter which one you could download all of them but you can only have one active at a time so let's say you ended up doing manual download. That part's pretty straightforward. Get your uh, archive file, and then we're gonna open it up. So I've got a whole bunch of them here. Um, I'm just gonna open Executive Suite. And you've just got the bin and archive folders in here. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna extract them to desktop. I'm gonna create a name folder so I don't get confused uh, if I have other bin and archive folders on my desktop. And then I am just going to open it up and go to my Cyberpunk installation folder. So you want the main folder, Cyberpunk 2077. The root stuff might be different if you're on GOG. This is for Steam. And I pretty much would just copy these two folders and paste them into this folder. I'm not going to do it now. It would just prompt me to overwrite because I've already got them installed. But it's as simple as that. Now, for those of you who are having issues with crashing, uh, I just wanted to give you kind of visual confirmation of where everything should be. So first we're gonna go into the archive folder, PC, mod, and you're looking for Proxima's prop shop v4.archive. So the .archive file should be in the mod folder. Next, we're gonna go into bin, x64, plugins, cyber engine tweaks, it's mods folder and then appearance menu mod. And inside of here, we've got two different folders we're working with. The first is collabs and then user props. And this is where you're going to find my Lua file. So Proxima's prop shop v4.lua inside the custom props folder. We'll go back to appearance menu manager. And now I'm going to go into the user folder and decor. And here you're gonna have the JSON. So I've got many of my apartments installed. This is the executive suite. So the one that I was just setting up. So executive suite.json, the JSON file should be in AMM's decor folder. Now, if you're absolutely sure that you've got all three of those in the right place and you're still experiencing crashes, it's more than likely um, either one of the root ones like Codeware, CET, or AMM are properly installed. So what I generally recommend is to flush the game. So you're gonna wanna uninstall if you're ever doing a full flush, uninstall the game, then go to the Cyberpunk folder, so the main installation folder, step back one, and delete the whole folder. So just select it and delete it. Uh, your saves are saved in another folder, so you don't have to worry about those. Make sure you back up anything that's held in there. So if you've done like custom AMM uh, presets or something, grab the JSON files and back those up. But once you're sure you've backed up everything that you need, you can safely delete this core folder and that's just going to make sure that if there's mod files that ended up in different folders that maybe are not the usual mod folders, um, that some of those will end up getting left behind just if you do a basic uninstall. So you need to actually delete the whole folder to get rid of all those little remnants. Otherwise, they can completely mess everything up, even if you're, you, know, you don't even think you have any mods installed. That could be a real headache. It happened to me with version 1.5's update for Cyberpunk. So... If you're having major problems, that's a good first step. Uninstall, delete this folder after you've backed up everything that needs to be backed up, then reinstall the game, and then test them one at a time. Test CET, make sure, like log into the game, make sure there's no crashes and it's working. Test AMM with Codeware, make sure they're working. And then if you're 100% on all those, and then you install my mod, and that's causing crashes, the most common thing would be if you're using two types of Luas, that was causing a crash for me in the past. I don't know if it still does. Now, 90% of my apartment reskins will use the V4 versions I was showing you for the archive and Lua. 
Um, the ones that don't are the older LifePath series Nomad variants. I couldn't update them, they were giving me issues. And so they're stuck with the old version of my Lua and my archive. So if you've got um, the older archive and the V4 archive installed at the same time, that might cause crashing problems. Same with if you have the older V4, or sorry, the older updated Lua and the more modern V4 Lua, um, that was causing issues for me in the past. So I just recommend making sure you've only got one uh, of each of the versions. The V4 version is less likely to be problem prone, but these older ones should work as well. If you've tried all of that and nothing's working, I honestly don't know what to say. If you can think of any details to give, I will definitely try to help you troubleshoot it. But the reality is, um, this is one of just, you know, the, the realities of modding that if a mod is working for 90% plus of other people, especially the mod creator, um, it's more than likely user error, something along the process. And there's tons of little easy mistakes that can be made with modding, especially if you're doing a lot of mods, so don't feel bad about that. But you just kind of have to deep breath it and do the start from scratch method and just one at a time test things and make sure that they're okay. So I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about that. Hope you have fun and let me know if you're having any issues and need any support.